and HBCU game day family. It's still your favorite cut from Mississippi, D. James, and I'm still in Jackson. This time, we're just checking out the boys as they get their chance on the court. So, we got the Jackson State Tigers taking on the Alabama State Hornets. And what else is kind of fishy about this game is Jackson State's coach, Mo Williams, he used to be the head coach of Alabama State. I'm pretty sure all you guys know that. But nonetheless, it has to be some emotions on both sides from him and his former players. So we know this is going to be a good one. Alabama State comes in with a record of 4 and 11, but they're already 2 and 0 in swag play. But Jackson State had a rough season so far, even though we've seen some great games like that Michigan game. Jackson State comes in 2 and 12, but they're 1 and 0 in swag play as they beat Mississippi rivals Alcorn. Let's get to the starting lineups, and you know I gotta shout out my boy number two, Jordan O'Neill from Mobile, Alabama. Always a dog on the court. And on the other side, we gotta shout out my boy, Ken Evans Jr. He was a freshman last year, he always a dog on the court as well. And from the beginning, Jordan O'Neill shows he's trying to get money today. And then on the next play, he gets the feed, ends up at the line, he cashed in on those free throws. And as we got down the court, they were showing some defense too. They were swatting stuff like bees were flying. A lot of people hate on coaches' sons, but T.J. Madlock, he deserves all the time he gets. He flushes it down for the Hornets, two points. Right here, Jackson State big man Romel Manziel, he shows that he has patience. He works to play, utilizes his moves, ends up with a nice jump shot, two points for the Tigers. Coach Madlock still draws up plays like some of the best in the swag. Better yet, all NCAA basketball. But nonetheless, Jackson State comes right back out. Colty Adams shows everybody that his floater is 93% strong. What better way to show your former teammates that you're happy at your new residence? Catch it off a rebound and flush it back. Two points for Trace Young. Jamarcus Jones shows everybody that he's going to be vital to the Tigers as we get into the full swing of swag play. He gets the ball, puts it up, draws contact, heads to the free throw line. He cashed in. Jackson State also shows they lift weights. Get strong on the baseline if you're going to drive the baseline. Alabama State's Isaiah Range is definitely one of them guys. He was showing out all night. We're going to speak some more on him. But right here, he gets to step back, pull up, pops him in his face. Two points for the Hornets. Jackson State guard Colty Adams right here shows everybody that he doesn't care about size, height, or strength. The little man gonna always come down to the block and we gonna handle business. He gets two points for the Tigers. But like I said, Alabama State is playing their former head coach. So right here, we cash in at the free throw line. Then we come right back to that guy, Isaiah Range. He'll shoot smooth in your face with your hands up. Three points for the Hornets. On the other end, Range is on defense, but Jamarcus Jones gets two more points for the Tigers. Hey, he do work on the block. That's my boy. Alex Anderson comes through floating for two points. Then we turn right back around. My boy Jordan O'Neal cashes in two more down on the low end. Side note, I saw Malachi Wideman. Will he be in the vet next year? But back to basketball. We not talking football. Jackson State went into the half up 31-28. Coach Mo Williams kept on giving his players instructions, but Alabama State came out with the fire. Them boys ended up catching the lead 43-41, to and Isaiah Range was still hooping. Jackson State kept fighting. Ken Evans Jr. shows that he still has that mid-range jumper that he had last year. Knocks it down, two more points for the Tigers. Alabama State had an answer, and I believe Coach Madlock really felt that. He put the fist up. Jamarcus Jones, like I said before, he was a big piece with his 11 points on the night. He helped Jackson State take off on a 9-0 run, which they could regain the lead in the second half. But still, as Jackson State tried to close out with free throws, Alabama State was still in the game, all the way up until the last possession. And at the last possession, they had three opportunities. Two of them really almost went in, and that last one was even closer. But your final here, Jackson State, 61, Alabama State, 58. Mo Williams, he did it in his first home game back at the crib. Hey, 
It's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James, and you're watching HBCU Game Day.